Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt and welcome back. Today we're in my lake house today and they updated the game quite a bit and that is going to change how I play quite a bit as uh, I'm going to go through a couple of the more important ones. I think the features are probably the more important and then the balance are probably the features and balance are probably the more important ones to go over, but they fixed and added a ton of new things. First off being the binoculars. Binoculars. We could actually hotkey this, but this is very nice. And now I can look through my windows and see uh, what's out there. I can see cannibals eating, eating other cannibals um, at range. The next thing, we got a hang glider. I would imagine we need like a running start. Yeah. Let's see. Can we jump? Let's try it. Jump. Oh my gosh. I feel like I go across the entire map with this. The next major one is probably the defensive gate, which I want to try out. Um, before that, since we have a door here, that is one of the updates they've made. And it has been heavily requested. <laughs> you just take it a stick and put it on. There you go, a door lock. Now my doors can be locked. Even though the cannibals don't walk over water, even with the bridge like this, they will not walk across this bridge. So we're pretty safe over here. We're going to go to my other base anyway. So you just get a log. Okay, that's what I kind of thought. Uh, of course, we have tons of logs here. So let's put a door... Oh. oh, it's kind of buggy when you go up to it. That is fantastic. That that gets rid of majority of my issues with base defenses. I love it. And if you guys remember in the forest, there's no sound. There's no sound when you open this door. There's no, you don't get that loud, uh, you don't get that loud, loud sound of opening the door like you do in the forest. It's just silent. I kind of like it. I kind of like it that way. Alright, cool. So it's the same way you pick up logs. I really like, I really like that. Now I can just move my chair if I'm adding new things. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Huge. So apparently they addressed fish traps not working. This is one of the biggest issues I had when I first started playing the game. I couldn't get the fish traps work and I thought, I thought I was just fishing wrong. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of fish. We all know what the best way to cure fish is with dogs. Does it still work? Let's see. Uh, yep. It doesn't fly across the lake like it did. I think they addressed that. But, yeah, you can still kill a lot of fish with it. I don't think you really need a fish trap for it when you have bunches of fish like this in a pond. But, for science, I, I don't know how it works. I mean, do I just place it in here like this? I need, I need, I need sticks. Okay. It's nice to know that the deers are spawning in this base, and inside my base. <laughs> it's fun. That deer spawns in the exact same spot every single time. So they added a new structure type. One-sided apex fills the space in between a leaning beam and a supporting beam. Aligns automatically based on the leaning beam orientation. Fits quarter log variations to the right length automatically. So it fills in, it's supposed to fill in the gap in between the supporting beam and the leaning beam. So talking about this. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what I thought it was. So it'll automatically cut off the log to fit the hole. Okay. Uh, okay. So if we take a full log here, we should be able to... 
Let's make it a little bit easier to get up there. So it used to be it would just stick off the sides. Now it just cuts off the excess log. So now we can fill up the hole. Make our houses look real clean. Devs have also balanced the game quite a bit. They've added a sleep cooldown. So much like the forest, there is now a cooldown to how often we can sleep. So we can no longer spam it if we want to go forward in days really quick. So we go here and test it. It's daytime. Should be a cooldown on it now. Yep. And it, it is almost... I bet it's exactly like the force. It's probably going to have a meter there. So now if we accidentally did that and slept till night, we have to now wait <laughs> through the night. And if you know me, I do not like playing games in the darkness like this. This is way too dark. But, you know, it, it could be a time for inspiration. I could see myself putting uh, skull lanterns all across this pond right here. That'd actually be really cool. We could actually border the tree line if we wanted to. So one of the other things they t took out and made a little bit easier for players is that they set the rest drain from hunger and dehydration to zero. Obviously, it's pretty straightforward. When your hunger bar is zero and your hydration bar is zero, it won't affect your rest bar. One of the things that I noticed at the beginning of the game, and you guys probably noticed it as well, it wasn't a huge issue, but berries did not give us a lot of fullness. If you ate a berry, it'd give you probably like, it would give you just a little bit of fullness. So if we go in our inventory, eat a berry really quick. We have almost full hunger, so it's going to be hard to test this, but. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's a little bit more. It's not, not crazy amount, but it's a no it's no more noticeable now than it was before. They updated energy drinks to give you half as much hydration and less energy buff. I'm not sure the, what the reasoning is behind that. I'm not quite sure what the patch notes are trying to say right here, but they did tweak the hard enemy health setting by 1.25 times health. I, I'm not sure if that's for people that are playing on hard or if it's just hard enemies like like creepers and stuff but they reduced it by 1.25 uh, times health then they also increased cannibal armor health by 1.5 times on hard they have shotgun damage geez shotguns are already <laughs> shotguns are still very very powerful I, I didn't even know they updated the shotgun damage and I, and I blasted a few cannibals with one shot earlier it's it's like nothing changed <laughs> i'm also excited to see that they boosted seat rest by a 0.3 to 0.7 i think it could i think it could go up a little bit more i'm happy with that because when before when you would sit in it it would not even move <laughs> the bar and i have to sit in here for five minutes five to ten minutes to get the thing all the way to the max i can actually it's 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 noticeable now an important thing for people that are playing on multiplayer, creepers, depending on the amount of players in your server, have increased health now. So just be aware of that when you're playing in a large server, the creepers are going to have scaled health based on how many players are in the multiplayer server. That has fixed things, minor things, such as if you place the bench too close to the table here, you had the chance of getting stuck when you got up. So they've, they've fixed it. Actually, he's sitting the other way. Let me see if I can... So you let me, unless I go like right there. Okay. So I think it's just because I'm stuck on the log here. Just wanted to save you all some time. Again, I was just picking out the major ones that they, they changed. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. All right, one more thing. Can I please make a better bed than this? Please, Debs. <laughs> My man is sleeping on sticks. <laughs>